Give me a dollar, give me a dollar. Give me a dollar, give me a dollar. Oh my gosh, curbside service. Hey guys, it's Paige. Welcome back to my channel. It's been quite a long time since I did a travel vlog, but we're back because my family and I are officially in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Okay, sorry, I had to get in the car because it's kind of cold. But yes, we are in Albuquerque, New Mexico. You guys are probably asking, why New Mexico? <laughs> <laughs> so my mom has this goal to visit all 50 u.s states no can you say it that way oh. u.s stands for united states for all i just filmed this entire clip talking out for like five minutes and i realized i was filming on slow-mo mode so that just goes to show you how long it's been since i have vlogged um, but yes, we are in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I'm super, super excited. Um, my mom has this big goal to visit all 50 states. Um, and we're gonna make that happen. She is in like, at like 37, 38, I don't know. She has not that many more to go. So we're just making sure we get them crossed off. You wanna show? It's my birthday. <laughs> birthday crown. Birthday queen. <laughs> So yeah, we're really excited to be here. Um, we got in late last night. Y'all, I just started my job like two months ago and I wasn't trying to take off any PTO just yet. I really don't have much. Anyway, so we're just making this a weekend trip, a quick weekend trip. We're gonna try to fit a lot into a very short amount of time. So this morning, we're about to head to the Sandia, Sandia, Sandia Peak Tramway. Um, my brother uh, got here earlier than us yesterday, so he actually did it last night, and it was so beautiful, the photos and the, the videos that he took going up the mountain on the tram, so I have to see this for myself. I'm super, super, super excited. Um, after that, we're going to drive. My brother uh, rented a car, so we're going to drive to Santa Fe, New Mexico, do a couple of things there, um, and then tomorrow morning, my brother and I, my mom and dad don't want to do it. My brother and I are gonna be getting on a hot air balloon. We have wanted to do this for a long time and it just never seemed to work out, but Albuquerque is known for hot air balloons. I think it's like the number one city in the US for hot air balloons. So it's only right and I'm super excited. So stay tuned. actually decided to go to Santa Fe first it's fine um just to work out the the timing better we're gonna go to the tram tramway in Albuquerque for like the sunrise no sunset the sunset ride rather than the um I can't even think of what I'm trying to say we just drove straight to Santa Fe and now we're going to the meow wolf meow wolf art exhibition place um, it looks really cool um, online, so super excited to check it out. Apparently, they have a few locations in different cities. They have one in Las Vegas. They have one in, hmm, I have the brochure. Las Vegas, Denver, Colorado, and Grapevine, Texas. So, yeah, this was highly recommended. So, we're going to check it out. Y'all, there's snow on the ground in Santa Fe. I didn't see any snow in Albuquerque. Um, it's interesting. Look at this big old rope. <laughs>
Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we just left Meow Wolf. What'd you think, Mommy? Oh, it was awesome. It was really cool. What'd you think, parent and dad? Four stars. I like the part when you actually try to fit in the washing machine. <laughs> I did fit in the washing machine. She did. <laughs> I did fit. She and she didn't oh. shrink. She didn't go on the Exactly. Dry. I went in there. <laughs> so much fun no that was a really really cool exhibit if you're ever in santa fe new mexico definitely check it out or any of the other cities that it's located in right now we're going to another place i saw on tiktok and it's called oh i'm supposed to be giving directions I sorry y'all supposed to be giving directions and i forgot um so we're stopping at a place called sure, kakawa chocolate house and it's artisan chocolate yeah, and we're gonna get some hot cocoa look y'all best in santa fe first place winner in 2023 I'm excited. We're having dessert before lunch, but that works. What you like? Right? I'm gonna do the small. Do the small. Off. <laughs> you want anything, Mom? Can I get the? Okay. Does it taste nice with the whipped cream on the top? Did you want? Yeah. Yeah. Did you want no. Are we gonna do the red, the one you gave us. Oh, the cacaoless. Yeah. Okay. Give me too small. You want anything, Can I put whipped cream on mine? Yes. Put some house-made whipped cream on both. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you. And for here, it's both. Uh, for here. For here. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. You want All right, y'all. So I was mistaken. This is not hot cocoa. This is like drinking chocolate. So it's way more rich. She explained the whole thing. I wish I had it recorded it, but it's a drinking, it's a, a chocolate elixir. Ooh, Tastes good. good. It was very rich. So we're going to get the little small cup. Look how cute, y'all. Uh, just finished lunch and I am absolutely stuffed um, my dad wants to take a picture of me um, so yeah we pretty much did everything that we're gonna be able to do today in Santa Fe I know I know there's so much more we could have seen so much more we could have done but like I said we're working with a limited time so we ended up deciding uh, to go did I even mention that earlier I'm sorry if I didn't we decided to um, no, I did. I definitely did mention it. As I mentioned earlier, we decided to um, keep going to Santa Fe and actually do the uh, tram in the evening or at sunset. So the sunset's around 4.50. So that means we need to head back to Albuquerque now. Um, so yeah, it's been real Santa Fe. Ha <laughs> 
If anybody is unsure whether or not they are afraid of heights, this is where you find out. Oh, oh Lord. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look down. Okay. <laughs> Leave her Yes. Definitely gonna pass on that, but looks fun. Oh, and of course, my brother is down there. I didn't even know my brother is in the snow. All right, y'all, so it is currently six o'clock in the morning. My brother and I are about to go on a hot air balloon. I'm starting to get a little nervous, but you know what? God's got us. Um, we're, we just parked outside of the, um, the office for the Rainbow Riders, and we're gonna go inside now and, and see what, what we gotta do next. So what's popping? You excited, bro? Yeah. He's just bursting with excitement. <laughs> place they took us was like an old mall parking lot and they did a little test with this balloon and when they said they were gonna test the balloon I thought it was gonna be like it's like a, a birthday balloon like a helium balloon <laughs> um, and they're like testing the wind and they said it wasn't good there so they have moved us to another parking lot I don't know how I feel y'all pray for me pray for me um yeah we saw another balloon not too far away so they said that was a good sign that the the wind's better over here so yeah yeah so it looks like this is where the spot's gonna be yeah they're taking the basket off the thing so it looks like we're going up going up
already boarded. So they should be going up at any moment. That's crazy. It's huge. There's one that's up over yonder. We'll be up there soon. Oh my, y'all, they're starting to go up. It's starting to move. It's starting to move. I'm shook. They're pushing it a little bit. I'm gonna go by parent. He got it. I think he's got a better angle, better view. <gasps> Our balloon's going up. Not they touching. My goodness. No, I can't believe I'm doing this. This is my last adventure. <laughs> I think I'm retiring from adventures. I'm retiring from adventures after this. I've already told Perrin. This is the last one you got me joining you for because I think I'm done. <laughs> oh my. All right. Sorry. This side, we're gonna have one on each side. That's fine. Right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> You got to be on that side. They're going up. Yes. Rotate the balloon. It's this black and green line. It opens up to the side and rotates it clockwise and counterclockwise. It doesn't steer us any way, but it does rotate it. So not a bad seat in the house wherever you're at. Then we come in to land. And we don't know where that's going to be at this time because we're going to be going with the wind. So hopefully they're nice. These two gentlemen will pick us up wherever that might be. Uh, when we do come in to land, uh, I'm going to rotate the balloon. So it's back in the same orientation as it was during the inflation. We're going this way. Uh, seems counterintuitive, but on landing, you're all going to face away from the direction of travel. So you're all going to be looking this way. I'll be on this side. I'll be looking into space. You guys are back of your heads. You got the handles right behind you, ma'am. Handles. So you're going to be looking this way. Knees bent, hanging on. If we tip and bounce, we'll be in that motion. Last and more. Right. Just text them real quick. All good. Text who? Take my picture. survived Woo. <laughs> yes thank you lord Woo. You guys <laughs> yeah you get a celebratory drink after <laughs> All right, y'all, so we survived. <laughs> it really wasn't that scary. It was not that bad. Like, I'm not really, I've never really been afraid of heights. Um, it's just something about signing a waiver that you're basically signing your life away. Like, you cannot sue us if you die, because you might. Um, that gets me a little bit nervous, shook up, but we did it. <laughs> we did it. Probably my last adventure for a long time. I just want to be on the ground. Swimming on the ground. I've parasailed in Austria. I've walked across one of the biggest ascension bridges in Vancouver. I can name quite a few. I've done a lot of things that involve heights. And I think I'm just at this place in my life where I just want to be on the ground. So, yeah, I can say I did this. Check off my bucket list. <laughs> So right now they're setting up a little table back here because we get a celebratory glass of champagne. And I think we also get like a certificate. Oh, all right, he just popped the bottle. He just popped the bottle, it's time. 
<laughs> uh, I think it's like a mimosa. Straight champagne, straight juice. We're mixed together with the orange juice from mimosas. So the cranberry, it's a poinsettia. We'll get everyone served up something to drink and then tell a little story about, about why we do the champagne. And we got more than enough. Don't be shy. We'll keep refilling you. We're like a rum cruise now. So. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Same How about here. another champagne? Same for me as well. Another one. All right. You got it. <laughs> you guys are making it easy on me. <laughs> Thank you so much. And sir, okay. You all good? You want a juice or anything? No. You got water? No water? Yeah. Water. <laughs> yeah. I'll we'll make you one. <laughs> and the balloons would take off from Paris or one of the larger cities and fly five or ten miles out into the countryside like we did today. But word didn't travel real fast in those days, and so the peasants and farmers had no idea that men were flying. They see this thing coming out of the sky. They thought it was some sort of a UFO or a fire-breathing <laughs> dragon coming down to get them and their crops. So they came out with pitchforks and clubs and sickles and we're going to try to kill this monster when it landed. Well, the balloonists decided it was a little expensive to repair their balloons every time, as well as their lives were endangered by these crazed farmers. So they started carrying a bottle of champagne that they could hold up as a point of reference that they were from Earth and sit down and take <laughs> So it still works today where we land, hold up alcohol, usually make friends, not always. But, but uh, shortly thereafter, the Irish found out about these Frenchmen out drinking, flying, having a good time, so we've got to do something with that. So they added the Irish balloonist blessing. And it goes, the winds have welcomed you with softness, the sun has greeted you with his warm hands. You've flown so high and so well that God has joined you in your laughter and sent you gently back into the loving arms of Mother Earth. Cheers. Amen. Thank you guys for joining us. Here. Cheers. Cheers. We would have missed a beautiful day without all of you, so thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.